Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So I am so excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you how to create a long-lasting, oil-free, glowy makeup look for oily skin. Yes, you heard me correctly, a glowy look for oily skin that is going to last. Your shine will not come through. Just the glowiness of the makeup look. That's it. I'm so excited to share this with you guys because, oh my God, I know how hard it is to create this look, to actually keep this look all day, and this look will last all day. Trust me. So let's get started. So the only thing that I have on right now are just my eyebrows. The rest of this look is created by no sleep. I did not sleep at all last night. So there are bags under my eyes. I look ghostly. I just look sickly. I even used eye patches to help what's going on. It, it didn't work. So excuse this, but we're gonna be covering it up with glowy makeup. Normally I stay away from anything that says it's illuminating or glowy or radiant, anything like that, I stay away. I will run for the hills because for oily skin, you just, you can't wear it because your oils are gonna come through and you are just gonna look like an oily, oily mess. No matter how many times you touch up your face, pat it with oiling blotters, oiling blotters, that's that's not a thing. Uh, no matter how many times you pat your face with oil blotters. So I already started with my skincare, I let it soak in, and now we can start with our primer. So you guys have heard me talk about this before. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer. So I do have the travel size, but once I'm done with this, I will be getting the full size because it is that great. I'm gonna focus it, of course, where I want that radiance to go. That's gonna be pretty much on the perimeter of my face. So you guys can already see that I have kind of a glow to the skin. Now I am gonna double up my primer. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I always have to look at it every time I say it because I mix up the name, I don't know why, but anyway, I need to use this for my big, big pores because that MAC primer does not do it. All right, my pores are nicely filled. The next thing that I'm gonna go into is this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I'm gonna be putting this on the high points of my face to get that glow. This is gonna go on underneath my foundation because it is highly pigmented. It is kind of thick. It's not thick to where it's gonna break you out or anything like that. It's just, it's really gonna shine through. So I like to put this on underneath my foundation. So just put this on the high points and blend it in. I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones. I'm gonna put it down the bridge of my nose. And then I am gonna put some on my chin, my cupid's bow. I know most people don't put it on their forehead, but I like to put it on my forehead. So just a little bit right in the center. And if you don't want to, you do not have to do this, but with the foundation that I'm gonna be using with this, it actually works out really nicely because like I said, zero oil will come through. So on camera, this doesn't look crazy, but in person, I definitely look like a crazy person who is addicted to highlighter. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using is gonna be paired perfectly with all the makeup products that I have on. You don't have to use this product. Um, you don't have to use really any of these products, but I find that they work well for me. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. It's amazing. It cancels out all of your oils and it stays matte all day, like all day. I think I wore this one time for like 12 hours and not a peep of oil came through. It was amazing. I never even had to touch up my makeup. I like to put my foundation on with a dry beauty blender. I don't like to use a wet one. I like it better dry. I It feels more like the water is mixing in with my oils. I mean, it's not like I'm like getting a drenched sponge, right? But it it just doesn't feel right to me and I feel like my makeup is better applied with a dry sponge. Does anyone else use a dry sponge or is it just me? Let me know down below because I don't want to be left out. <laughs> and if you haven't tried it before, you should try it because I really like it. I mean, don't try it just because I really like it. Try it because it's it might be better for you. Anyway, I'm gonna put on my makeup. <laughs> 
So normally this foundation dries down pretty matte, but you can definitely see that illuminator shine through the foundation. And I really feel like it looks like a natural glow. It looks like I have just this dewy foundation on and it looks amazing. So the next thing I'm gonna put on is my concealer. It's just my Tarte Shape Tape, nothing fancy, nothing specific for the look, just normal everyday concealer. And I'm just gonna put those underneath the eyes. Um, I'm not gonna put it anywhere else. I don't like to highlight with concealer at all. All, I really think that the illuminator is gonna do the job. So I'm just gonna put this on really quick. I do like to blend it out, not fully, but blend it out just a little bit and let it sit and let my dark circles really absorb all of that color so that way I can get a full coverage. And yes, I learned that from Nikki Tutorials. Okay, I feel like that concealer woke me up. <laughs> I am using my favorite setting powder and it is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Powder and it smells like coconut. I'm gonna set my under eyes and the creases of my face while I'm gonna bake, really. For those of you who aren't familiar with my channel, this is actually my everyday bake for everyday look. It doesn't matter if it's for matte, glowy, anything. This, this is my normal bake. I have already let it set for a while, so I'm just gonna dust it off really quick. I'm just gonna put on regular bronzer, nothing fancy for this look. It's just gonna be my normal everyday. It's from Cover Effects. It is the Perfector Face Palette. So I'm just gonna put that on really quick. For blush, I am gonna be using the Busy Gal Blush by Tarte and it is in the color Mood. I freaking love this one. It is so beautiful and it has like a shimmer to it. I just love it so much. This is a horrible, horrible swatch. There you go. It has like a gold sheen to it and it's just so pretty for like everyday makeup and this glowy look. My favorite highlighter right now is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder and it's in the color Incandescent Strobe Light. Freaking love it. It is amazing. It just adds this beautiful, beautiful glow to the skin. So I'm going to put this all over. <laughs> I'm going to grab my brush. And I really am gonna put this all over. I love this. It's so subtle and you can definitely build it up. It just perfects everything it touches. Like, it's like a gift from the makeup gods. <laughs> it really, really is. Like, if you haven't tried it, oh my God, I highly, highly encourage you to try it. <laughs> I don't wanna tell you to go buy it. Just, I, I just encourage you to try it if you want good highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna do the forehead. Basically, I said everywhere, of course, but I'm also gonna be focusing on the high points where I put that liquid highlighter in the beginning. That's where I'm gonna be really focusing it. I'm just gonna put it also down the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow, a little on my chin. And I know that the blush already has some shimmer in it, but I'm just gonna put just a little bit, just a little bit. It just looks so good. And I'm not normally one of those like highlighter happy people to where it has to be blinding, which is why I love this so much. It just gives this natural glow and you can definitely build it up. You can't go wrong with it. Just look at that, look at that glow. I also could put some on that decolletage, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I don't think so. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm definitely gonna be setting this makeup with the Urban Decay Dis Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. I want anything possible to help me with these oils. All right, so I'm gonna be back with my mascara. Maybe I'll put on some lashes. I don't know, we'll see, but I'll be right back. So for my eyeshadow, I used the House Laboratories in Aphrodite, and then I just went in with my bronzer for the creases. For my lashes, I used Doe Lashes in Cloud 9, and then for my mascara, I just used the Tardis from Tarte. So for the lips, I just wanted to do a natural glowy lip gloss to go with the glowy makeup look. It's the Seraphane Botanicals Berry and Juice 100% Vegan Lip Gel in the color Rose Current. All right, so that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are as excited as I am to create this glowy, long-lasting look for oily skin. If you like this look and this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions to a glowy, long-lasting look, let us know in the comments down below and subscribe for more content. Thanks, bye.